hello guys welcome to my channel called tech caddy in this tutorial i will show you how to design a exhaust manifold basically exhaust manifold in automotive engineering an exhaust manifold collects the exhaust gases from multiple cylinder into one pipe exhaust manifolds are generally simple cast iron or stainless steel units which collects engine exhaust gas from multiple cylinder and deliver it to the exhaust pipe this was the definition of exhaust manifold now see how to design it so go to start oh sorry go to file new go to part okay now go to start go to shape and generative shape design now select the line it's a very complicated design at first two three minutes it's very complicated so please focus on on this part right click of your mouse and create point uh, x axis will be minus 171 and Z will be 120 enter now point 2 right click and create point uh, it will be X will be 121 and the Z will be same okay okay go to fit all in okay now again go to line go to point create point and this time x will be 0 y will be minus 180 and z will be 112 okay now point 2 create point uh, y will be minus 180 and z will be 0 enter okay now join this point so again go to line select this point and this point click ok now go to corner this is the corner and select this line and this line and go oh, first select trim element 1 trim element 2 and give the radius 80 mm enter again we will do the same thing out here go to corner select this one and this one and this time the radius will be 60 enter Alright, go to line, right click create point, make it 60, enter, for point 2 create point and this one here z will be 112, enter, ok. Now again go to line create point uh, now x will be minus 171 and y equals to 0 z will be 120 enter now for point no now for point 2 uh, our x will be minus 121 and z will be the same okay okay now go to line and join them okay go to corner select this portion this portion 
it will be 80 radius will be 80 enter again for this portion and this portion it will be 60 enter so it's done now go to symmetry first select these two by using control and left click of your mouse to select anything for multiple selection control and left click of your mouse so select these two and go to symmetry uh, reference will be uh, ZX plane ZX plane okay now go to start and go to part design select up select a plane a parallel through point reference will be YZ okay now select the plane and go to sketch now make a circle out here with dia 60 enter all the dimensions are in mm exit workbench this is the place where you can see what you have done in your sketch so select go to a tool called rib select this portion and click ok we will do the same thing for rest of the portions select on sketch go to rib select the portion again go to sketch again go to rib select the portion ok close sketch oh, sorry rib sketch this portion ok now rotate it a little bit we will make a hollow here so we will do it by using a tool called shell select this this and this let me okay this rotate it a little bit for this and the inside thickness will be 5 make it 5 enter select this plane go to sketch uh, fit in now make it back view go out here and go to back view so now select a circle and make a circle over here Now go to constraint to know the dia of the circles. So now change all the values. This uh, will be 20. This will be 40. Again, this will be 20. This will be 40. And this value will be, uh, I guess, 180. Uh, yes, 180 this will be 60 
again this one will be 60 okay now select this two circles using control and left click of your mouse we need this out here so we will go to mirror and select this axis and so it comes out here now go to by tangent now go to by tangent join them oh sorry this is called by tangent line go select this one and this one to join them Uh, this one this and this one now rub the unnecessary parts now exit workbench ten mm enter Oh, sorry, I have done some mistake. It Back view. Go to symmetry. And select this one. Exit workbench. Now it's okay. Now, rotate it little bit and select this portion select this portion go to sketch now select a uh, axis like this make a axis like this go to constraint and change the degree make it 38 38 enter again go to axis now select the circle make a circle over here again do the same thing out here also now go to constraint Now change the value. It will it will be twenty. Forty and this one hundred. Now join now go to mirror. First select this portion, these two circles, control and left click of your mouse, mirror select this axis okay now join them using by tangent so this one this one and this one oh. this one this one mm. okay now rub the unnecessary part using quick trim we don't need this go to symmetry and select this now it's done exit workbench now go to pad give a padding make it make the length 5 as per your choice now go to rectangular pattern we will do the same thing out here so instance will be 4 and the spacing will be uh, 120 now selection will be y axis spacing will be 120 120 now okay so our exhaust manifold is almost done now apply some material on it go to part body apply material
metal iron apply okay so our exhaust manifold is done if you liked it please do like share and subscribe my channel and i have uploaded almost 20 videos so check them out also i have a facebook page go like my page thank you support me i need your support thank you thank you very much